Yo, I'm telling y'all some real shit. I'm going to get right to the point. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm going I'm to speak all facts. Nothing you can dispute. All facts. AJ, his team, robbed the shit out of Carlos Tagum. I want everybody to pay attention to the ref. I'm not going to show the footage. But pay attention to the ref. Go back and watch the um, Carlos Tagum fight. I want everybody to watch this fight. Me watch this video. Go look at the Carlos Tagum fight. I did this video on my old channel. That shit had almost 40,000 views. 40,000 views and a few. And 40,000 views on that video. Or going on 50,000 views. Then everybody else start like talking about this fight. But I was the first one to alert everybody about this fight. Anthony Joshua is not who y'all think he is. Anthony Joshua is not. Listen to what I'm saying. Anthony Joshua not who y'all think he is. Let me say that again. Anthony Joshua not who y'all think he is. Go back and watch the Carlos Tagga fight. That fight was fixed. And there's people in the comment section. Look, look at this shit. What? I thought, thought B was just breaking them up. He actually stopped it. What the fuck? Joke ass stoppage. Wilder can KO AJ Easley. Rest in peace, AJ. Laughing out loud. It's a lot of this in this, um, a lot of people. Weird stoppage. Weird stoppage. The referee stopped the tackle, tackle from dodging, dodging the punches. The fight was in good shape. I don't, I don't know why it needed to be stopped. Absolutely early stoppage, but Carlo Tackle was getting beat up. Hell no, he wasn't. No wonder why, Rari, why Andy Ruiz wants 50 million to it. A rematch in England because he knows he will fight Joshua Judge referee. They would have robbed the fuck out of Andy Ruiz as soon as the the, the, the if it go into the late rounds. If if he don't he only got to get hurt, the referee gonna stop the fight. Pay attention to the ref in this fight. I'm t I'm I'm gonna repeat it three more times. Pay attention to the ref in this fight. And, and, and you know the fans are not going to say anything in the UK because they want him to have the belts. So the fans are going to turn. The fans are going to turn. The people that fans of AJ are not boxing fans. Let me repeat that again. The people who like, who like AJ are not real boxing fans. I say 90% of his fans are on some homo shit. I'm telling you, I'm going to say it again. 98% of AJ fans are not boxing fans. And 50% of Wilder fans are a bunch of fake revolutionary. Some want some want to be some want so some want to be on some some um polite type shit on some on some watch a thousand video videos on um Kemet and all that type of shit. Ancient Egypt is those niggas. But I'm telling you, watch the referee in this fight. The referee going to play a very important role in getting Anthony Joshua belts back. Mark my word. The referee going to play a bigger role in the judges. The judges and the referee going to play a big role. And Andy Ruiz is just, is just selling the belts to AJ. He's selling those belts by him agreeing... And Al Heyman agreed to go to Saudi Arabia. I bet you Andy Andy Ruiz got some money on the back end. He basically selling those selling those belts to maintain the life, lifestyle, maintain his lifestyle. That's all. And he probably win money on his popularity, get money. But he never going to see those belts. He's not coming back with those belts. I don't care. It's slick. Eddie had the fast. Eddie had to jump in the ring himself. He's not coming back with those belts. And Al Heyman know it, Andy Ruiz know it, and everybody in Andy Ruiz camp know. If they don't KO this dude, I'm talking about within five, six rounds, 
they're going to stop the fight. Something's going to happen. If they go 12 round, the referee going to do his job. If it get rough in there, if it get rough, let me say this and I'm out. If it get rough in there, the ref going to do what he got to do. If it go if it go 12, if it go 12, the judges going to do what they do. If Andy Ruiz get cut before the fourth round, the doctor going to do what they going to do. They going they they this is a sham. This is a sham for AJ to get the belt. And once he get the belts back, those belts he going to retire with those belts cuz he never going to fight anybody else hard. He never going to fight anybody else hard. I'm sorry to say this, but this is what it is. Y'all see how he was moving with the belts. As soon as he wasn't saved, if that fight went on in the UK, that f- um, Anthony Joshua would have won the fight. That's why he he refused to come back to the United States. That's why he said he would never fight Wilder because he already know he his, the, the jig is up. He already know the jig is up. He been found out. He could come behind. He could come from behind the curtains now. The wall is the wall is over the people's eyes, and these guys that 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 cherish him, they are not boxing fans. Let me say it again: they are not boxing fans. They on some Magic Mike shit. They on a man jumping out of out of cake for another man. They on that type of shit. They are not real boxing fans, so I don't know why people debate them. I don't, I don't debate Anthony Joshua fans. I don't debate Manny Pacquiao fans. I don't debate Canelo fans because it's a gay fan base. It's an LGBTQ fan base. And I'm not going to sit on the internet, waste my time while I could be doing something else. Wasting my time with a bunch of homosexuals. Because if you're an Anthony Joshua fan and you ride with him for everything he do, more than likely you might be a homosexual. You might like sucking dicks and getting fucked in your ass. I hate to say that on this on this channel, but it's the truth. Watch the referee and the judges. But mainly that referee. Hit the thumbs up. Support the channel. AJ fans, y'all know what y'all got to do. Do what y'all do.